year of our Lord, 30. Maybe they'll be set free today. Come on, Juniper. children, this is the day we celebrate the pact of the Almighty with his chosen people. Let us hope that our offerings will be pleasing unto him. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. In the name of the Highest, you are to be set free. Your crimes have been forgiven. <laughs> Except that we have committed no crimes! Were you not one of the disciples of the Nazarene? What of it? Is it a crime in Israel to follow the steps of a holy rabbi? You're a free man now, and your family is waiting. That should be enough for it you. It isn't nearly enough! Not after 50 undeserved days in prison! He always recognizes anyone he saw in Jesus' company. Mary and the other women sent this. They thought it might be just what you needed. What business do you have in the temple? It is none of your concern. What brings you here, my friends? Why did you free those followers of the Nazarene from prison? Have you lost your mind? What reason could we have for keeping them? Their master died 50 days ago, and that's the end of it. You are willfully blinding yourself to common knowledge. What common knowledge? They say he has risen from the dead. His sepulcher was found empty. It's an affront to our authority. What's that? It's not like you to talk such nonsense, Habakkuk. His body was obviously stolen. Remember, it's been 50 days since his death. And remember also, before he died, he had many followers. And now they've all disappeared into thin air. But we can't keep citizens in prison because of a dead man, whether present or absent. Your ignorance is nothing short of dangerous, Nahum. I must go at once and consult with the heads of the Sanhedrin and trust in their wisdom. May the Almighty spare us from the wrath of zealots. There are none better. Believe me. Why it look at this man? the best in the world. world. An excellent example of a real thoroughbred. Admire his withers and fetlocks. Three. I just know it's three. Thank you, young man. Better luck next time. Now I know why they say you can't win. Step right up, good sir. Let us in. Go 
upstairs. The others are here already. I think we can help them. That will provide work for some of the Galileans who are looking for it. There's always work to do for willing hands. I still seem to hear his blessed voice. What is going to happen to us now? We're in for a lifetime of persecution, but I will always believe in his kingdom and spread his message of love, even if that means forfeiting my life. His memory must always be fresh in our minds and in our hearts, for that is our strength. How can I ever forget those last moments on Lake Tiberius? Catch been today, my brothers. How have you fared? We've caught nothing all morning. Cast your nets once again, and you will be rewarded. Have faith. Let us break bread together. Peter, tell me, do you love me? You can read everything in a man's heart. Therefore, you know that I love you. Feed my lambs. Go, therefore, and spread my word. My friends, as my Father sent me, so I am sending you. Go, therefore, and spread my word to all the nations. Baptize people in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them the things I taught you. For I will be with you forever, until the end of time. stand there looking at the sky. Jesus has been summoned by his Father into heaven. But do not fear, he will return among you. Forever and ever, that is the will of God, so be it. Have you noticed anybody going into that house today? Actually, no, I haven't. Why do you want to know? Yes, this morning. I think there were only two, and, and they had a donkey with them. Well, girl, has anyone come out? I haven't been looking all day, but I didn't see anyone. I think we'll have to wait until nightfall. When they come out as a group, that'll be proof they formed a conspiracy, and then we can have every one of them thrown into prison. I don't like it. This place is too crowded. An arrest would cause too much trouble. what are we going to accuse them of, exactly? Are you deaf criminal conspiracy to overthrow the established order? We must never forget, my brothers, that he himself chose each and every one of the twelve of us personally, but one of our number, Judas, betrayed him, and I betrayed him as well to my everlasting shame. A brilliant operation, sire. This night has extinguished forever the star that protected the Nazarene. Now we must do all we can to get rid of his disciples as well. Jerusalem will forget he ever existed. Those disciples ran away like a flock of sheep attacked by a pride of lions. <laughs> and he called himself a son of God. Imagine, he was a son of many and father of none. I was there. I heard all those terrible things being said against our beloved master, and I didn't raise my voice in his defense. Too, weren't you? You're wrong, good woman. 
I don't even know him. I denied my lord. I will never forgive myself for that. When Judas realized the terrible crime he committed, his soul was seized by torment. But it was too late then. He went to those who had paid him to betray Jesus, threw the 30 pieces of silver in their faces, and killed himself. The place that Judas Iscariot held among us is empty, and has to be filled by one of us, chosen by us. It is written in the book of Psalms, his dwelling shall become a desert and no one will live there. Someone else will take his charge. We must choose one who has been with us since the beginning who witnessed the miracles and the resurrection. If I may, I would like to propose Joseph. He's been one of us for a long time and is a fair and honorable man. I say Matthias. He was devoted to our Lord, and he too has always been with us. White for Matthias, black for Joseph. Cover your eyes and choose one, Andrew. Trust in God, he will guide your hand. <sighs> the white one, God has chosen Matthias. Oh. Matthias, as of this day, you are one of the twelve witnesses of Jesus. People of Jerusalem, brothers and sisters of Israel and all foreign lands, you have seen the prodigies of the wind and of the fire. You have seen with your own eyes what the prophet Joel foretold. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fires and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Jesus of Nazareth, the man God sent I to you, was betrayed. He was crucified. He was in the wind. What is he talking about? He's one of the disciples of the Nazarene. They still dare show their faces? Jesus was taken to Golgotha, the Hill of Skulls, nailed to a cross and suffered atrocious torment. But his father raised him from the dead and sent him back among us. We are the witnesses. Yes, we are the witnesses of this miracle from on high. And we have come among you to spread the word Isn't of the Lord. Isn't that man up there a Galilean? Where did he learn such excellent Arabic? To me, he's speaking flawless Greek. You've had too much wine. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, good sir. And thus the wine shops are not open yet. But you are the ones who must be open. You must open your hearts to the message of universal love. You're completely mad. Oh, let him talk. You have seen the prodigies foretold of wind and of fire. They were sent to make you understand that our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, has been crucified. He is the Messiah that Israel has been waiting for since the beginning of time, our only hope of salvation. Do not close your hearts to this glorious news. What do we have to do to be saved? Repent your sins and be baptized in his holy name. All will be forgiven you, and the Spirit of the Lord will descend upon you. We announce this promise in the name of our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All of you, invoke his name. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb, and paradise will be your reward. Come with us to the river. Be baptized in the name of our Lord.
want to see how this madness ends. My brethren, the Messiah's message is growing stronger every day. followed the Lord's call, have been given this chance to save your souls from damnation. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Your sins are forgiven. Today you are born again in the kingdom of heaven. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. I believe in what I have seen. I believe in what you have said. I believe Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sins are all forgiven, brother. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. One day, we asked Jesus to teach us how to pray, and he taught us this prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I ask you to say it now. They've probably returned to Jerusalem. <sighs> I know I'll find them. Well, you have a long walk ahead of you, that's for sure. Be careful, son. Thank you, friends. We're off, then. I'm sure to find them. Give our greetings to Peter and Mary. I will. Goodbye. <sighs> How can you possibly not recognize them? Those are the disciples of Jesus. You know the one they crucified. They're very brave to show their faces here. They can be crucified as well. Now you show yourselves. You didn't even have the courage to come and glorify his blessed name. What you say is completely true, brother. But we were afraid of what could happen to us. He was a wonderful master, Peter. He spoke to all of us in the name of God and showed us the way to salvation. Once again, you speak words of truth, brother. He showed us the way to salvation through the blessed sacrament of baptism. Only now we're alone and bereft of him. But what are you doing here at the temple? Have you come to seek your deaths as well? No, the only reason we've come here is to pray and to listen to the word of God, as we always did with Jesus. Don't fear for us, brother. We're not afraid because we know Jesus is with us and will not abandon us in the face of difficulties. Peter, at last I found you! Oh. I've come a very long way to find you, Peter, because everybody back home is terribly anxious about you. When you go back, you can tell everyone we're fine because the Spirit of the Lord is on us. Now let's go pray. Thus saith the Lord in the book of Isaiah, 
I will lay waste to mountains and hills and dry up all their herbage. I will turn rivers into islands and dry up the pools. And I will lead the blind in a way that they know not. In paths they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I will do, and I will not forsake them. Thus saith the Lord. Are back. Tell me, good people, why have you come here? My child is dying. Please save him. We're hungry, Peter. We also are very poor, brother. Yes, but you carry with you the power of Jesus the Nazarene. You are his disciple. You can do whatever he did to help us. Peter, I know there are many of us, but Jesus always found enough food for us. Everything we have is yours, brothers. Come, follow me. I know that the doors of this house will open wide for us. 